All right, so today in this video, we're gonna be looking at some vector operations in the mathematics and statistics portion of the civil FE exam review. And so I wanna jump right into the practice problems. All right, so this one, number one says, um, determine the angle between the two vectors. Uh, vector V is one, two, three, four, and vector W is zero, negative one, four, and negative two. All right, so what are we given? We're given two vectors, U and V. Okay, um, or U and W, I'm sorry. All right, what are we trying to find? We're trying to find theta or the angle between the vectors. Are there any formulas that we need? Well, I don't know how to um, do this. Um, so what I'm going to do is go to the vector section in the manual and see if I can find anything. So I'm just going to do a quick control find vector. Operations, maybe. No. Vectors. All right. So it, it, when I search vectors, I get a mathematics section. And um, one of the things that comes up is the uh, dot product. And uh, it is given by a dot b is equal to a magnitude b magnitude cosine theta, uh, which is equal to, again, the dot product. So what is that? Um, theta, right? Well, theta, if we look at our diagram, is the angle between the two vectors. Here, zoom in here. So yes, this is theta. So that's what it's asking for. Um, and because I have prior knowledge on this, then of course, I'm going to be able to navigate through this manual and know where to go. But if you go through vectors and having this practice, then you're going to know what to do to be able to solve this. All right. So, um, let's, let's go ahead and get started. Um, and also you can note that you can use either the dot product to solve for the angle, or you could use the cross product to solve for the angle. You would just use instead of, um, Cosine, you would use sine. So that's just some background. Let's go ahead and do the problem. So first, we just want to have this whole this. So uh, the formula that we need is going to be uh, a magnitude b magnitude and then uh, cosine theta which equals b dot a all right so instead of a and b we need to swap these with uh, U, or v and w So it's my mistake, but just for the sake of this problem, it would just be um, V magnitude times W magnitude cosine theta 
is equal to w dot v. All right. So what is v magnitude? V magnitude is equal to um, one squared plus two squared plus three squared plus four squared all over the square root of that. And I I feel like they have this in the handbook somewhere, um, but you will need, let me, let's see. Let's do a quick search. Uh, so, yeah, um, like your resultant, can see here it's always going to be x squared plus y squared plus z squared so in this case it was one squared plus two squared plus three squared plus four squared and then all over the square root so how many ever variables you have um in your vector that's what it that's what it is so let's go back to vectors All right, so I now have uh, my V magnitude, which is equal to the square root of 30, plus my W magnitude. Well, that is equal to this, the square root of zero squared times negative one squared and it's plus plus four squared plus a negative two squared so I'll the square root and i get for my w square root of 21. all right so what is v so we have uh, our V, we have our W. We don't know what cosine theta is. This is the question mark. That's what we're trying to find. And then we just need W dot V. So what is W dot V? Um, w dot V, or how they highlight it in is uh, a x times b x times c x times d x whatever it may be plus a y times b y plus a z times b z so same thing um with our equation so we could say w dot v or v dot w i'm gonna say um w dot v for this scenario so w dot v is equal to what is uh, the x values that we need to be multiplying so um what is our wx well wx is zero what is our uh, vx it's times one all right And then plus, what are our y's? Negative one times two plus four times three plus a negative two times a four. And that after you add all those up, you should get two. All right.
so next thing is um, we now have these values. So uh, now it's just solving, right? Or plugging and chugging, right? So to get our theta, we're going to say, and I'll just walk you through this, what this typically looks like. So it's going to be, you have V, you have your W. And you have the magnitude of both of those. Cosine theta, which is equal to W dot V. All right, so we're going to divide both sides by magnitude of V and W. So we'll just have cosine theta is equal to W dot V all over the magnitude of V times the magnitude of W. Hopefully that makes sense. All right, how do we get theta alone? Well, we take the inverse of cosine. So we say theta is equal to cosine inverse of negative one of all of this stuff. So W dot V all over the magnitude of V times the magnitude of W. All right. Now we already solved for all this stuff, so now it's just plug and chug, all right? So, which is equal to the cosine of negative one times, what's our W dot V? We got two divided by the magnitude of um, V, which was the square root of 30 times is a bracket okay and then times what is the magnitude of w this is square root of 21 so 2 over all of that and keep in mind this value we want to put it in um, all underneath or inside of the inv the inverse cosine. So when I put all this information in, I get 1.491 radians. An important thing to note, whatever type of calculator that you have, you wanna make sure that you input this and make sure that you're in radians. If you're in degrees, you're gonna get a like a 20 degrees, 30 degrees, or a lot higher than, than the radian value. So this answer is going to be D. I hope that you're enjoying this video. I just wanted to drop in and say, if you're looking to pass your civil FD exam within the next 90 days, then you definitely want to check out the course that I've created. The video that you're currently watching gives you just a glimpse of what is in the course and I have made it test taker proof. And what that means is, is no matter if you've been out of school for a while or you just have trouble with some of the engineering concepts, if you study this material that is in the course, it will help you to pass within the next 90 days. There are also full practice exams. Yes, 110 question practice exams, along with review guides and study schedule templates to help you pass. And these, re these are resources that I have created for you. So if you wanna check out any of those, just head down in the description box below and check them out now. Now to stay up to date on any new videos that I drop, whether it is more practice problems like in this video, or if you want advice and some extra tips to help you pass your civil FE exam, you're gonna wanna make sure that you hit that subscribe button, turn on those bell notifications so that you know exactly when I post. And if you wanna check out the next video, you can here.